All right, sweet. I'll try and keep this as short and as simple as possible. So as we just spoke about there on the phone, uh, the couple of little things there that you were doing better but needed a little bit more attention um, is obviously you got the face a little bit better, definitely, um, and the rotation of your hips was way better. Now, it's a case of still keeping that little habit that you had, obviously, was a little rehearsal you had, the sway and the rotation of the face, which obviously we wanted to get rid of, but I still like the little rehearsal thing because, like I said, it fits in really nicely into a pre-shot routine. So have a little rehearsal where you go and you feel like you're going to get, just stop about here, so when your hands are kind of in line with kind of your pocket, is a good spot, and then try and get the feeling that as you get to that point, hands in line with the pocket, the face is going to feel like it's a little bit pointed down, not necessarily there, it's going to feel a little bit down for you, and you're going to feel like that pocket's actually gone out of the way, so you have the combination of thinking pocket goes this way, or the hips are going that way, weight's transferring sort of into that, the heel, not the outside of the foot, on the heel, or even the inside, but Hips are turning, and you just go just to there. So you sit up to it. You're going to have one rehearsal where you go hands on the hips. So I'm going to make sure I've turned, faces pointed, feel like it's down. And then you go back to the ball. You look back at where you want to go, and then you just hit it. So that would be the routine that you could take to you with you with the golf course where you have a process of going from a, a thought to just a conscious letting go. So you sit up to it. Get your face, then your feet. Rehearsal where you go face down, body turn. Cool. Look at the target. Forget all of that stuff. And then just whack it. Now, the reason why those, like I said on the phone, those two positions there are so important, especially the face, is your brain is a fantastic tool and a problem-solving tool, right? So, obviously, you used to go here with the face all rotated open. So, then your brain knew the face was open. So, the solution was to swing to the left to make up for the face being open to the right, which obviously started it straight but created the slice spin. Now, if you get the face back and it's closed, your brain will automatically know that if you were to come over the top, you're going to hit it straight left. And you go, oh, I don't want to go straight left anymore. So you'll get in the situation where you've turned and the face is pointed where it feels like it's pointed down. Your brain will automatically want to swing to the target, not want to swing across the target line. So that's why that face is so important, like I said, whether you use that frying pan, whether you use that spatula, any of those things. And the movement obviously is going to feel, if we go real slow motion, it's going to feel like it's the same as your spine angle. Then it's going to feel a little bit down. And then even when you get to the back here, you, this, you can almost feel like the face is pointed to the back of your room. Or you're going to feel like your back of your hand is pointed to the back of the room. From this situation here, which is very closed, but from that situation there, you're going to want to feel like you're going to go, Whew. your body's going to feel like it wants to stay here, and the club's going to feel like it wants to come from the inside. Because obviously from here, if it comes that way, it's going to feel like it's going to hit your left shoe. So basically, we give you a new problem for a new solution. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? And then every shot you hit, just get into the habit of just going hips, face, just check it. And then obviously face on, it's going to look like that. It's going to be hips and face. So you can get to that position, stop, and then just check it just so you know where you're going. And you can see where the face is pointed. Where's my hips gone? And then obviously the key from there, once you've done your little routine, is to look at the target again. And then you look back at the ball and then you just hit it, right? And let it go. All right, man. Hope that makes sense. And uh, send us another little video of how that looks.